everyone, I'm Eli. And I'm Brandon. And we're from a little place called chichicheckit.com. That's not what you said. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still not gay if only one of us says it. But True. anyway, welcome to the last part of our seven video series, mm -hmm. I think. Yep. Of how to build a PC the easy way. So Well, easy as it gets anyway. Yeah, you know, we're <laughs> we're going in depth and hopefully we're answering some of your questions and hopefully you guys can build a computer. Not that you guys will, but Hey, whatever. But yeah, if you ever have any questions, just ask and comments below. And if we know the answer, we'll let you know. If not, good luck. Yeah. Google. Google magic. <laughs> Google is how we figure everything out. Exactly. Today. Okay, the last step building your computer is the power, power supply. supply. So, let's get right into that. I'll go grab yep. the camera. Brandon, grab that power. I'll grab that power, yo. Like a white non gangster. Look at that yeah. power, that's beautiful. So here we go, we've got our 600 watts of power with lots and lots of cables. That may look very confusing, and trust us, it is. Well, if you don't know what you're doing, yes, it is quite confusing. That's why you have Brandon here. Yeah, that's why I'm here. In all his glory. Yeah, I'm glowing from all the work lights around. Oh, I gotta beef this up too, thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. All right. Oh man, you're glowing like crazy now. Woo. Yeah, but now you can see this just fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you can see on our power supply, we've got a fan on the bottom, and so that is going to match up with this little vent that we have on the bottom of the computer. Most other cases have the power supply at top, but this guy's going to be going on the bottom, all right? So let's go ahead and just stick this with these little, you know, the, the, the power input and the off and on switch face in the back of the computer. So. Uh, so Eli, if you want to look at this real closely down here, let's see. Uh, let's move this out of the way. What am I looking at? So you see that these little, these two things right here. Yep. Those rest on the top of your power supply. So now you know that you need to go ahead and tuck this guy back behind those, and push it up against that. And then I'm accidentally squashing some of these cables down here, so I'm gonna try and. Yeah. Move. So move the cables. And then put it down. Except I don't know where this guy's going. Oh, there he goes. So let me lift this guy up for just a second and get that cable. This is up. why it's easier to do it with two people. Yeah, this is always easier with two people. Okay, so now that we got that in, we'll go ahead and scooch it up against the frame. And so you like to take a look over here. Obviously, this isn't matching up, so you're going to want to lift that up until you see the screws on there line up. You see that? Where? Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm looking. So screw there and screw there. Yeah. All right. So that's where they screw in. So yeah, you're going to want to lift up your power supply until those meet up. So there's one here, here, and then one down here and over there. All right, so Eli, I'm gonna need your help to kind of keep this lifted up while I put in the screws. So which you, means, uh, so that means we're gonna have to be back in just a little bit after we finish putting in the screws. So until then, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, so welcome back, guys. I'm just finishing tightening these guys up a little bit. So making sure not to over tighten those. All right, here I'll go ahead and turn that a little bit towards you. So as you can see, we got these nice shiny silver screws in place. So now our power supply is nice and secure. All right. Well, those are some beautiful shots, man. Holy crap. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> no, you should see this, dude. Like the lights are behind it and it's just beautiful. Let's see. Uh, Let's see Brandon in the light. Hi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the tutorial. Okay, so Eli, if you want to come on this side, so it's kind of like they're looking into the computer from their angle. Okay. So obviously we've got just a huge mess. And so this is how you're going to have to distinguish what you need to find, all right? A beautiful mess. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. Let's go with that. <laughs> okay, so first things first, you're going to want to find the cable that looks like this. This is called a 24 pin or 20 plus 4 pin, which it's basically got the most pins out of basically all of them. And sometimes they have this little notch on the side because sometimes they only take 20 pins instead of all 24. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for it. It's not a big deal if it's broken looking. Okay, so Eli, if you'll take a look right down here. See that? Yep, I see a big 24 pin slot. That's yep. what I see. All right, now if you look on this side, you'll see like a little, uh, like a piece of plastic sticking out. 
piece of plastic. Where? Let's see. Do you guys see it? Where, where my finger is. Like, oh, okay, so it's over there. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay, so that's is where this guy's gonna catch on. You see that? Yeah. So now you know that 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 this guy needs to go in like that. So that's pretty straightforward. Can't get a good enough angle back in there, but I mean it's pretty straightforward. I think they get it. Yeah. Hopefully anyway. So let's try not to break anything. Put in my other hand for support. Did that snap on there? I think it did. I just didn't hear it. I think I heard it. Alright. So anyway, I'm pretty sure that's in. Maybe that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> No comments. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, I'll... Oh, that's why I didn't go in. I'm dumb. Alright, well anyway, I'll probably have to go back in and fix that later. This thing's not in all the way, but I can fix that later. No big deal. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is actually have another one of these guys go onto the motherboard. And let's see if... Another 24-pin? No, this guy is actually going to be either a 4-pin or an 8-pin. Or in this case, it's kind of a... A combination of the two so you see that yeah so anyway these will always come like this so that way if it's a four pin you can just put in the four pin but in this case on this motherboard if you look right here now we've, we've, that we've got an eight pin slot right there yep see it all right so that's basically where these two suckers are gonna go so let's see if we can match these guys up and put them on in Almost there. This is uh, just a basic game of matching right now, guys. Yeah, remember when you used to play those games of shapes when you were a kid? <laughs> this is kind of like that. Wait, so Brian, where did that connect exactly? That's just giving that part power? So, these these are basically just to give the entire motherboard power, alright? Okay, those two are just to give motherboard so power. So those are strictly for motherboard purposes. Okay, so now let's actually go ahead and give power to the hard drives. So what those guys look like would be, if I can untangle this crap, woo, so many cables. Okay, so, so not those guys. Time. So that the time. <laughs> All right. So these guys look kind of like those SATA connectors. So you see how it's got kind of like a little notch, but these guys are a little wider than the SATA connectors. Yeah. So if we can navigate this guy around. Motherboard power. So this this guy. As you can see, they're kind of already connected to each other. So let's connect one in here. If I can find out where. Wait, it's where does it go? Let me see where it uh, oh. where it plugs in real quick. All right, here I'll show you on this one. Okay. So you see how this one right next to the SATA? Yeah. So basically the same concept as with the SATA. You can just just plug it right in. Plug it right on in. Easy enough. At least if you can see what you're doing. All right, so that's sticking up, but. Um, I'm gonna leave the side panel off for ventilation purposes anyway, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'll probably end up fixing that later. But anyway, that's just the concept behind that, just putting those two guys in. And then let's find another one. So another one of those connectors, and that actually goes onto the back of the CD DVD drive right here. So it's exactly the same concept. Well, I can't really see it because it's black on. Okay. Where does it go? It's right underneath the SATA connector, right around here. Okay. So, same deal. Just uh, sneak this guy on in there. Actually, I think this one might be upside down. I'm not entirely sure. Because I remember... Wait, here, let me see what that one looks like. Just out and about real quick. It's the same... It's the, it's same, the same exact as the hard drives? Yeah, same exact one as the hard drives. Okay. And it just goes right in the back there, okay. Yeah, but I can't really tell which direction this needs to be going because it's kind of dark and I don't have a flashlight. There we go. So that one actually went in upside down for whatever reason, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. <laughs> so I'm just going to move this cable over here just so that's kind of out of the way. Okay. Sort of-ish. There's still cables all over the place. <laughs> okay, so next we're actually going to go ahead and plug in one of these connectors into the graphics card which actually usually isn't necessary for your graphics card because they're not quite as monstrous as this one. So I know it's really probably going to be hard to see from there, but if you can look in, look right here, can you see that at all? Uh, down there? Or right where my finger is on the top right corner of the graphics card. 
Yeah, I can see it now. Okay, so that's a six pin connector. So let me go over here and find one of our six pin dealios. Put now, it down. It actually says right on it, PCI Express, which means Let's, let's see the six pin real quick. I'll zoom in and get the right there. good six, quality picture. Six pin connector right there for your PCI Express. Okay, so. So now we can just go ahead and. Oh no, I can't see anything though. Okay, now I can. All right, so this might be, you know, I wonder if there's any more to this. That'll make it easier. Let's do it like this. Put that in there, and then we'll be able to flip that around and plug it in like that. Aha! Easy enough. Beat the system. Okay, so uh, most everything is connected, um, but there's one last thing we need to do, and that's for the fans on the, the case itself. So if you look down here, if you remember in one of our previous videos, we got these little guys right here. Yep. All right, so those would be, if I can find it, those would be these guys right here. This particular power supply has three of these connections. Got a good look at that? Yep. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you see this little, like, kind of like a rounded edge on it? Yeah. So you're basically going to be able to use that to kind of figure out how this plugs in because these little slots have rounded corners on them as well. Let me see. Yep, see it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can get in there without getting too in the way of the camera or anything else. So let's see what we got going on here. All you're doing is, Matt, like, Matching those up. Right. So. Except there's so many cables that it's kind of getting in the way of everything. Yeah. It's getting very tough to see. It looks like a jarbled mess from here, but. Yeah. And so one thing you're going to want to keep in mind is that sometimes these guys don't like to go into place. And that's not because you're putting it in wrong. It's just because the, the wires themselves are kind of haywire. They kind of like to move around so they don't always fit right off the bat. So I got nothing to look at right now. So let's look at Brandon in great quality footage, putting the stuff in. Yeah, because that's totally exciting, right? Yeah. It is when you got some sick work, work lights behind you. That's true. You know, Eli, if you have enough time on your hands, you should put some like lens flares in or something crazy like that. <laughs> I would if this was a music video. Oh, that's true. All right, so this I'm guy- too lazy to do that. This guy comes out pretty easily, so we'll go right there. The way I do freaking lens flares takes way too long. And come on, go on in. See, this is what is I Is that was. the last one? Uh, that's the second one, actually. Oh, wow. E. So like I said, sometimes they're kind of a pain to put in. And it doesn't matter which ones connect where? No, not particularly, because they're all the same type of connection. And as you can see, these are all kind of on the same line anyway. Okay. So, but what you can notice as a little bit of a trick is that these pins move around when you move the cables. You see that? Yeah. So you can actually probably be able to to actually hold on to the the cables in the back to kind of keep them in line. And maybe that'll help you push it in. Maybe not. Why'd they build it like that? That's pretty stupid. It is kind of dumb, isn't it? you think smart people would come up with smart ideas for these things. Hey, caramba, the heck is going on? You know what, let's try a different one. Because <laughs> obviously this one just does not want to cooperate in the slightest bit. So, let's see if we can get these cables matched up. And swap that around. You can do it, Brandon. You can do it. Cut their head off. <laughs> oh, we go more. Dang it. I got one of them in and then the other one slipped out. Oh man. And see that side went, but that side didn't. You know, maybe we should have them come back. I think so. What do you think? Because I think the pressure of the camera and the fact that these pins don't want to go in is just making it not work. So uh, let's go ahead and cut the video so that way I can take a little bit more time to put these in. <laughs> At least just this one in. And actually before we do that, I just want to show you something. So you see, how this guy is co is connected onto this input right here. Yeah. So basically the power goes in right here and it's gonna go through this little red, black and red cable out to one of the fans. But then what does that make this guy? Well, basically the power transfers through this, 
so that becomes a power out. So you can actually do a little trick to where you grab one of the other guys that looks like that. So you see how these guys look alike? Yeah. Except for the amount of pins. You can basically just cheat the system and plug that in. Mm. After we get power into this guy, of course. Wouldn't that be funny if it just went right in the first time like that guy did? <laughs> uh, Charlie! Yeah, it's not working. It's not working. We'll bring him back. All right, welcome back. So I just finished putting all of these little, you know, connections together and everything. And it looks like a mess, but thankfully everything has finally been put together. And I kind of did a little rearranging over here, so that way this wasn't sticking out a whole lot. And so yeah, I just organized that a little bit better. And you guys can do that as you want on your own computer, or you can just leave it crazy mess, you know, kind of your whole deal. And also we put the little antenna dealios on the back. And since I won't really be using this output all too much, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So yeah, that's that's about all there is to building co a computer. So Eli, if you want to go ahead and you know put the camera down, you can be in, in the last shots yeah. All right, guys. So that was the entire series right there, and that's how you build your computer from scratch. You know, so you got all the parts and all that. Mm -hmm. And I uh, hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys learned something, and hope this series wasn't. Boring. Really confusing and boring, <laughs> and you guys got like you know. Ho hopefully, you guys learned what we are trying to teach you. Yeah, because I mean, it was a lot. We've never done anything like this before, and it was kind of fun. It was. It'll be a lot of editing. So yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> so anyway, so that's the end of this little series on how to build a computer. Hope you guys learned something, and we'll see you guys another time. Peace out. Later.